I thought it was a really balanced effort tonight. Uh, I thought Yachty distributed it pretty evenly. We had ranging from 12 to 23 attempts. I think we had five players within uh, five attempts of each other. And so when we're, when we're balanced like that, it's going to make it hard to defend us. If we're controlling the ball well enough, uh, I, I think that you know we can be a handful. You can see that with our hitting efficiency tonight. It was pretty good and pretty good distribution, which means first and second touches are pretty good too. Uh, we would like to have played a little bit better defense, but we got that going as the match went on and, and held them pretty good, pretty well in the third. Uh, that's all I've got. Okay, we'll open up the questions for the student athletes, please. Carson, I know, I know you guys are comfortable playing at home, but did, did it feel like an NCAA tournament game for you guys on there? I think it did. Um, we were all just like super excited for the opportunity to compete. I know we wanted a little redemption from last year because we lost in the first round, but it definitely did. But it was great having like all of our fans around because I think they brought the energy and kind of boosted us up and they really helped our um, like attitude. It seemed like the student section was pretty full. What was it like to have the student support and come up to um, It's always really fun. We have a great um, student crowd they always come they have their cheers they do a lot of them know our names which is super fun and a lot of them are our friends too which is awesome so Carolyn you and Ella both just what's this season been like for you guys being at home being back on the court and, and just getting this NCAA tournament game at home where you, where you know your family can come see you play oh I can go um <laughs> it's awesome to be home I think we're I mean I know we're super pumped that we got um the bid to be at home and that's awesome and just uh the fact that we both are so close to home i know our families make it to every game um so that's it's really nice to have their support um i know personally i've grown up a marquette fan um since i was a little girl so it's so fun to wear this name on the front of my shirt um i agree this was like my dad's college that he always loved supporting growing up he grew up in brookfield so um, being able to come back here and kind of um, have it be full circle, it's really awesome, and I'm just proud to be here. For Carolina, what was it like? You both had two aces today. What's that like to be able to put points on the board from the service line? <laughs> uh, honestly, we're just anything we can do to help our team, get the other team out of system, get our team in a better position to score a point, get the win is what we try to do. I agree. <laughs> uh, you guys started the second set a lot faster than the first. What kind of changed from those two sets? Uh, maybe a little bit of nerves just getting, you know, it's the NCAA tournament. It's a huge deal. So I think um, we got, like, comfortable and we were like, okay, yeah, we got this. And so we felt a little more confidence. And so we were able to just um, push points very early on. Definitely. Definitely settled in a little more, which mm -hmm. was nice. And everyone felt comfortable and was ready to bring the energy. There was a lot of focus this week on their middle of Marie Flip. I believe she was held under double digit kills tonight. What was just kind of the game plan to limit her and her dynamic ability? Um, we talked a lot about their speed um, out of the middle. And so just making sure that we had those early hands seeing on defense um, if she was you know, not bombing them at us, but hitting the perimeter, making sure we're in the right spot, communicating. So just, you know, all around trying to prepare for anything that could come at us, really. It seemed like there was a couple points where you guys just saved rallies. They kept it going. Both sides did that. But what's it like to extend a rally with a big dig or something like that? I mean, I mean, it changes the momentum of a game, I feel like, especially when you win the point after a huge save because um, it keeps things exciting. We all get so pumped up. So um, putting all the effort that we can out there is huge and changing how uh, we play as a group. Coming off a tough loss, creating in the Big East Championship game, how do you guys think you were able to bounce back today to solidify the win? You know, after that loss, it's kind of, we, of course, you know, it hurt. It was a close game. Um, but we kind of, you know, it's done now. You know, we have to move forward. And here we are. We're going into the NCAA tournament. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Everyone's undefeated right now. And so um, we have to move on and look forward to the next game. Carson, coach said the other day how big it was is for you guys to get points out of the middle. Mm -hmm. How were you able to be, be so successful today? 
I think Yachty did a really good job at um, deciding like when to like set who. I think that played a huge role because um, with, like her decision making honestly impacts like all of us and how we do. And so I know she like would see like if a middle went up with me, she would set like um, Aubrey or Jen on the outside because they had just this um, one blocker up. And same thing if she saw like a pin blocker going with one of the pins in just a middle on me, she would set me. So I think her vision really helps um, all of us be successful. How long did it take to develop that, that chemistry and communication with Yadi and just coming here, for, with her coming here this season? Um, we did a lot of hard work in the spring um, getting used to the new speed and how we wanted to run our offense. And so just coming into our first game and like all, the whole season really, um, we just had built that connection for um, about six or seven months at that point. So. Anything further for the student athletes? All right, ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Questions for Coach? They kind of talked about after that first set, just settling in. Did you notice that as well? It took maybe a set to settle into this one today. I thought so. And... You know, it's uh, it's been a while since we've known so little about an opponent, right? So um, you're just used to, once you get into conference play, you go 10 straight weeks of, you know, the coaches and players, your returners, and, oh, yeah, that's the, the player who did the X, and, oh, yeah, no, I remember that. Um, and we haven't seen these guys. I, I don't think I've seen Ball State since I've been here, you know, nine years. So, um that that with nerves with just uncertainty of height above the net attacking um, shot range of hitters. It's video is hard to, to do it justice. So, uh, but we thankfully uh, our passers really kind of kept us in it, and then Yadi distributing really evenly kept them pretty off balance. So we were able to do our stuff without knowing much about them. In the second set, you guys had a bunch of three zero runs. How nice is that? Just to Put a bunch of points on the board, get them to a bigger lead. And yeah, it's it's uh, it's certainly nicer than being uh, down one or or even up. So uh, yeah, if you can if you can keep that three point lead and hold it, uh, you know you try and stretch it to four or five, and then they bounce back and get it within three, uh, and then at the end we finally pulled away. But yeah, certainly uh, nicer to play from in front. You guys were pretty good from the service line. I think yeah, nine uses to six errors and. They had more errors than aces. What's just that like to win that battle? Yeah, they're a really good serve pass team. Uh, it's what they're uh, a lot of times known for. Uh, I think there was somebody said there was a bracket out there statistically analysis. If you did serving and passing, Ball State would be in the final four, and I think we outserve and pass them. So credit to our uh, first touches. Uh, Walt, I thought, called a great game from the service line. Players executed it, and then the passers held us in it. Going off of that, in that fourth, uh, second set specifically, you guys had four service aces and kind of got false state out of sorts. How important was that in that second set to kind of get that pressure from the service line you've been talking about all season? Yeah, it's if you can jump on them uh, and just you know cause you can get a, a you know whether it's a setter or a secondary setter just into panic mode a little quicker if you can if you can jump on them pretty early and then they're going to go with their natural tendencies more and more. Uh, than if they're playing free and loose. So if you can jump on somebody, it, it uh, can certainly provide support for the rest of the set. Could you tell that your team was locked in playing at home instead, as opposed to like being on the road and sequestered in a hotel? Uh, you know, it's road versus home. You know, we love the energy, the crowd, and the environment. You know, we serve and pass in here every day. So that that's always going to be a, a nice advantage. But... When you're at home this week, you know, these guys got on the road, all our opponents got on the road Tuesday and, and they've been, you know, resting and our kids have been running to class, you know, and, and um, their lives have been probably a little bit more busier because we've been at home. So there's good and bad, obviously, but uh, we'll take the crowd and, and our gym any day of the week. Before the game, I know you were up there just watching the Georgia Tech uh, game. Were you just able to pick up any observations early? I know you have the, the night to prepare for that, but... Just any quick observations from that game? Yeah, you just what we analyzed on video, you know, what's it look like live? Uh, big arms, 
you know, and, and we knew that. Uh, their middle is extremely active today. We have to keep their setter off the net so they can't do that uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's probably more middle than they normally can get to. Uh, and so we'll have to have pressure on them so that they don't have all the options and all the balance that they had today. What's this night look like for you and the coaching staff with the one-night turnaround? Uh, you know, we've been... You know, we watch all three teams all throughout the week uh, in a heavy dose at Georgia Tech, uh, knowing that uh, we thought they had a chance. You know, so um, we we do little things at practice early in the week before we flip all attention to Ball State. Um, so there's no real surprises when Georgia Tech showed up and play. They they can switch their outsides to do a couple different rotations, but we won't know that. You know, they can they can flip that in matches. Um, we we, uh, we have a visit dinner, uh, so we got that, and then it goes back to watching some video on what we thought was maybe different live um, than when we scouted them. But it it's uh, it's pretty clear what they like to do, uh, and you know I don't think what they did today changes ten things in our scouting report for tomorrow.